Okay, it's time to do our beginning of winter maintenance on the Aaron's snowblower. This is the Aaron's uh, Deluxe 24. Um, the newer Aaron's have three Zerk fittings for grease. So there's going to be two right here, one here, and one on the other side of the gearbox. The gearbox, there's an oil check and I don't have a dipstick. I saw a video where someone made one. So the manual says to measure down from the flat surface of the gear case cover 2.4 to 2.6 inches. That's where the oil should be, uh, which is 6.1 to 6.7 centimeters. The third Zerk fitting is right down here. And it's a dead end on the other side, so it's just uh, grease that up a little bit. Also it calls for oiling your seals, uh, specifically on the wheel seals. So and I'll take that shaft out and uh, grease it up, but uh, these uh, seals, they get some oil on it, don't want them to dry rot I guess. Alright, after applying a little bit of grease to the front, I'm getting ready to put it in maintenance mode and a little trick I learned is to uh, close off the uh, gasoline. Uh, the gasoline caps are vented so there doesn't pull a vacuum. So I just like to put my little plastic bag on here because we're going to tilt it up and I don't want it leaking. Alright, we'll put this in maintenance mode. That was easy, and we'll take off the transmission cover. The transmission cover is six bolts, two that are obvious, and two that are off to the side by the wheels. Uh, also, now is also a good time to uh, take the wheels off. Uh, this particular model is easy. The uh, wheels come off. You just remove this stay clip and then the wheels come off. Uh, what you want to notice is there is a key and uh, also we're going to grease this area in here too to allow the wheels to come off in the future also. And there it also exposes a Zerk fitting. Put a few squirts in there also. So FYI, I saw some fuel leaking. I had my uh, fuel on, so I turned it to off to get it to quit leaking. If you can see my little puddle down there where I leaked. <laughs> I took a leak. All right, when you take the wheels off, be sure not to lose the key. Uh, about the key, they're opposite. Notice how this one's up. Well, this one was down, so it's a golden opportunity to lose it uh, when you take them take them off. Okay, this machine is standard hardware, uh, except for the engine. Uh, the engine uh, is metric. Alright, let's take off the cover and see what we have here. Alright, it's, it's not as bad as it originally was. When I originally took this off uh, a couple years ago, it was just covered in crap. Grease and oil splattered everywhere. It was just completely black. It kind of worried me a little bit. But I just think they just over greased it at the factory and it just flung off when I first used it. But anyway, so I'm going to clean all this up. You can see that it has uh, oil runs on here. I'll clean that up. Now since this is the first time I'm going to grease it up since I bought it, I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up and take it apart and let's see so right here there's a clip I'm going to take the clip off and I'm going to take the shaft off and uh, clean it up and uh, put it back together so by taking the shaft off you have this one gear right here and this comes off in one piece like that so as you can see, that was real easy. It also gives me access to the plate here where I can clean all the dust off of there. Uh, you can see, I got it zoomed in. You can see I have a tremendous amount of material 
in here from when I originally got it. It was just ridiculous. So anyway, so I'll uh, clean it up and uh, oil the chain and grease everything up and then we'll be done. So you should have plenty of grease if you just wanted to grab some of the old stuff here. Put it on the shaft. Change the drive. Put it on the other side of the shaft. Make sure there's some, just a light coating of grease on there. That's all you need. The chain. Uh, I have some uh, motorcycle chain oil. Alright, and that is pretty much it. So, I know I didn't show you actually pumping the grease in there and putting oil on the chain and all that other stuff. Uh, cleaning up my disc, you want to make sure this is clean. Very, very important. No grease or oil on your disc. You do not want that. But I have this uh, green marine grease uh, left over uh, from using on my Mercedes and it is uh, marine grease in that it's uh, waterproof it has a good uh, paraffin to hold the oil so I just kinda use that uh, it's definitely difficult to shoot all this with like really greasy hands so but anyway it's fun stuff Ow. Careful, that's sharp. <laughs> All right. Make sure that's in all the way. Also, I just realized something that these uh, pins were opposite each other. Well, guess what? I'm going to line them up so that they're in the same attitude is right there so now they are both going to be up when I take them off instead of one up and one down how about that so take that assembly line okay so we are done except for uh, oh, we're done on the inside here how's that so hopefully you see the shine from my uh, motorcycle chain grease and the reason I use motorcycle chain grease motorcycle chain oil excuse me is because uh, it doesn't fly off it does but you know it it sticks really well so I have that on there you can see that's nice and shiny you can see a little bit of the green from my marine grease you can see how I cleaned it up. There's two washers here, one washer going on the outside, no washers on the inside, and that's all greased up and uh, put back together. Also, I spread out the grease. I didn't add new grease that was on my drive indicator. You know, we have uh, full forward, full reverse. So all that looks good. I really don't see any other place to lubricate. So I'm going to just uh, put it back together. And I still can't get over how much stuff was thrown in that snowblower before I got it. Oh well. Also I have a new uh, drive wheel. I just have a spare set aside. So when that wears out, you know it's going to wear out in the middle of winter. Uh, when they don't have any more on the shelf. So I do have uh, this piece as a spare part. Alright, let's button it back up. Just an FYI, in a previous video I had to buy new clips and uh, hardware because this thing was all tore up. They were like stripped and put in wrong at the factory. I'll tell you, whoever put this thing together at the factory was having a bad day, I can tell you that. So, anyway, but it's a good machine overall. The assembly was a little shoddy in my opinion. But, anyway, off we go. Also, I was able to put better hardware on here. See how that uh, end is uh, ground off? That's to get it started into those uh, J-clips. So you can just 
get them started real easy won't get stripped out like that guy at the factory did I know, I heard that one too. It was uh, it's like it's still loose for some reason. I may have to take a look at that. All right, put the wheels on and uh, flip it over. Take the uh, plastic out of the gas can so that we can uh, have the vent open and we'll be good to go. All right, FYI, these keys are not square. They're rectangular, so be sure and put them in, orient them correctly. Right. Excellent. Thank you for watching.